people are kind of 50 50 or people are not really are thinking about not voting um if you could leave our audience with something to encourage them to go to the polls for you and be the deciding factor of of them actually you know picking your name tomorrow what do you want to leave our viewers I, with? I would say that if 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 I win the lieutenant governor's race, I will be the most progressive candidate ever elected to a statewide office here in Pennsylvania history, you know? And and um, I, I, I think I have pretty strong bona fides in that, in that department. And, and like I said, I was honored to share a state with Bernie and honored to have him say all these, these things. And, and um, uh, I'm, I'm honored uh, to, to have that, but I'm also honored by uh, being a four-term mayor of a marginalized community and, and working on these issues uh, for the for the past 17 years before it was part of our mainstream conversation. And I'm proud to have stuck up for things, whether it's it's the 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 racial inequality of our marijuana marijuana uh, laws, whether it's um, uh, marriage equality whether it's it's championing for living wage jobs. Uh, I, I think all these things uh, are important. And, and I think, uh, you know, there's there's no margin of for error of indifference in these elections anymore. Uh, you know, when you look at the margin where we have won elections recently, we, we, we can't afford to leave any votes on the table. And that's why I traveled 45,000 miles all around Pennsylvania to all these counties because you know, Fulton County, for example, may have 600 Democratic voters, but I, I want those 600 votes. I want to talk to those people because they're good people and their votes count the same as somebody in Philly or Pittsburgh or any city. It's like we, we need to engage these folks and, and, and take that argument. And that's what I would say to anybody that is indifferent about voting tomorrow is is that there's there really and truly is a lot at stake. And I'd be honored to have their support. And isn't it true that last time you had uh, what you won by one vote? Is yeah, my correct? first, my very first election uh, 13 years ago was by one vote, and that's what I what I mentioned was youth uh, youth activism, and and that's that's the reason why I won, and and that's um, and that's the story I tell people where it's like, look, voting matters, every vote matters, and 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 uh, um, uh, you know it, it's. You know, it's it, you know we live in a cynical age, and and it's like you know I, I I don't ever want somebody to take that right for granted, and and it's like whether you vote for me or somebody else, just vote, participate. You know, it, it's it's like look around, read your news, read your Twitter feed. You know, this is the world that we live in now because not enough people voted. You know, it's like it has consequences, it has ramifications. We all need to participate and engage. And, and that's what I would just want for myself. And that's the kind of behavior that my wife and I are modeling for our three children because they need to be informed voting uh, members uh, as well too. I'm Steve Grumbine with Real Progressives. Have a kick-ass evening, friends. Keep fighting, stay in the game, and please, each one teach one. And if you have a few bucks, Throw them over to Real Progressives so we can upgrade our video quality, our podcasts coming, and all the other things that it takes to run a major company that we're trying to become so we can kick some ass. All right, I'm out. Have a good night, everybody.